Greenland explained. To this day, few people outside of Greenland know anything about one of the world's largest countries. In truth, many outsiders continue to hold false beliefs about the stunning Arctic country. Greenland is not just a frozen wasteland. The country's rich culture and history will reveal themselves as you explore. Today, we'll shed light on this interesting but sometimes overlooked island. Okay, so let's get going. The Geography and Climate Greenland has chilly summers and severely harsh winters because of its Arctic or subarctic latitude. For instance, in January, the capital city of Nuuk has an average low of 14 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 10 degrees Celsius, while in July, the average high is only 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 9.9 .9 degrees Celsius. As a result, the majority of the country's agricultural output consists of feed crops, greenhouse veggies, sheep, deer, as well as fish. Greenland is very reliant on foreign goods. Most of Greenland is very flat, but the country's tallest mountain, Bunbjörn Fjord, rises to a lofty 12,139 feet, making it the tallest peak in the whole Arctic. Two-thirds of Greenland is also prone to permafrost, and its whole landmass is blanketed by an Arctic ice sheet. The people of Greenland Approximately 56,000 people call Greenland home. The ice and snow have kept them confined to the remaining 20% of the nation. After the sea froze in the narrow strait at Thule in northern Greenland, the first people came from the North American continent about 4,000 to 5,000 years ago through Canada. At least six separate Inuit civilizations have moved throughout time. An estimated 89.7% of the population was born in Greenland. This includes multi-ethnic groups of Inuit and Europeans in Greenland. Another 7.8% were born in Denmark, 1.1% were born in another Nordic nation, and 1.4% were born somewhere else. Scandinavians make up the largest share of the European Inuit population, although there are also smaller numbers of Danes, Norwegians, Faroese, Icelanders, Dutch, Germans and Americans. Population centers in Greenland Greenland's populace, unable to tolerate the interior tundra, has flocked to the shore in towns and cities. Due to the brief seasons, subsistence fishing and hunting have always been essential. It is almost hard to farm in Greenland due to the temperature and topography, with the exception of the far southern part of the nation where sheep grazing is common. Greenland's beautiful natural surroundings the natural scenery of Greenland is stunning. It's common for locals to comment, you feel very little, when confronted with Greenland's breathtaking scenery, which includes glaciers, fjords, mountains and incredible wildlife. Greenland is home to many beautiful natural features, including its icebergs. Some of these spectacular ice hunks might be as tall as a few buildings. The Greenlandic ice cover is constantly shifting and this shift produces icebergs. 10% or less of an iceberg is visible at any one time. Many researchers have expressed concern about the melting of Greenland's massive ice cover in recent years. Human-caused climate change is blamed by many. A multinational team estimated that Greenland's ice cap loses enough water each year to fill 110 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. This information was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Letters. Political structure Both the Social Democratic Forward Party and the Democratic Socialist Inuit Community Party, which advocate for more autonomy from Denmark, dominated the political landscape. The pro-Union Democrat Party's 2 MPs performance in the 2009 voting was markedly worse than its performance in the 2013 general election, which saw a consolidation of power between the two mainstream parties. 76.22% of voters in a 2008 non-binding ballot supported more freedom of choice and control over local government. Greenland, unlike Denmark, which is still a member of the EEC, departed the organization in 1985. Formerly known as the European Economic Community, or EEC, it is now known as the EU. Through its affiliation with the EU, Greenland maintains certain contacts to the outside world. However, European Union legislation does not generally apply to Greenland outside of the sphere of commerce. 
Although Greenland is not a member state of the European Union, it does qualify for and receive funding from the European Union's European Development Fund and various other EU programmes. Government and Administration Danish Queen Margit II serves as Greenland's state leader. The Danish government, headed by the Queen, sends a High Commissioner, Riksom Bundsmand, to the land to symbolise this relationship between Denmark and Greenland. Across the island of Greenland, a federal legislature of 31 people sits. Nalaka Suisut members are chosen by the Prime Minister to serve in government. The Premier, who is often the leader of the largest party in Parliament, serves as a government's chief executive. Mateborup Egede of the Inuit Atakwatigid party is the Premier. The Self-Government Act Greenland was under Danish administration from the early 18th century until independence in 1979. The Self-Government Act was passed by referendum in Greenland in 2009. As a result of this law, Greenland may take on more responsibilities. Economy of Greenland the fishing industry accounts for a large portion of Greenland's GDP, $37,000 per person. Moreover, 90% of Greenland's exports come from the country's fishing industry. By far the most lucrative sector is the shrimp and seafood business. The mineral resources of Greenland are extensive. In 2007, miners first started digging for rubies. As prices rise, the outlook for other minerals is better. Metals include iron, tungsten, titanium and copper, as well as radium-containing elements like uranium and aluminium. It will take many years for hydrocarbon production to materialize, despite the resumption of various hydrocarbon and mineral exploration initiatives. For the purpose of expanding Greenland's hydrocarbon sector, the government established the state oil corporation Nuna Oil. In order to enhance the gold output that began in 2007, the state-owned firm Nuna Mineral was listed on the Copenhagen Stock Exchange. In spite of the vast availability of hydropower, electricity has historically been produced by oil or diesel power plants. Planned construction of hydroelectric facilities is underway. Buxafjord Hydroelectric Power Plant was the first and is now the biggest. A big aluminum smelter powered by hydroelectricity is also in the works. A large portion of the required workforce is predicted to be brought in from elsewhere. Given that China already produces 95% of the world's rare earth minerals, the European Union has encouraged Greenland to limit the People's Republic of China's expansion of rare earth mining projects. Greenland's government, however, denied instituting any such limits in early 2013. Greenland's economy is mostly controlled by the government and its agencies and agencies that are directly or indirectly owned by the government. Funding from the Danish government accounts for around half of all government income, GDP. The GDP per capita is on par with the average for European countries. Education system of Greenland In many ways, the educational system is structured like that of Denmark. Primary school lasts for 10 years and is required. It's also possible to continue your education through the secondary level where you may focus on preparing for the workforce or college. Greenland is home to a single school of higher learning, the University of Greenland, Elisima to Safik in Greenlandic. Quite a few people from Greenland go to school in Denmark and other European countries. Greenland's public schools, like their Danish counterparts, are under the purview of local governments, making them what are known as municipal schools. The legislation establishes guidelines for what may be taught in classrooms, but it is up to the individual municipalities to determine the day-to-day -day operations of the schools under their jurisdiction. If a youngster is between the ages of 7 and 16, they must attend school and can't opt out. Nowadays, education spending is a major priority, at 11.3% of GDP. Greenlandic is mandated as the language of teaching in public schools by Section 1 of the Government Ordinance on Public Schools as of the 6th of June 1997 amendment. Languages Since Home Rule was established in 1979, both Greenlandic, an Eskalut language essentially denoting West Greenlandic, as well as Danish, have been employed in government matters. In June of 2009, Greenlandic replaced all other languages as a single official language. 
Many Danish immigrants in Nuuk, as well as other major cities, are still using Danish as their first or sole language, and also the language is frequently utilized in government and higher education. The fate of Greenlandic or Danish in the nation is a topic of continuing discussion. The Greenlandic alphabet was created in 1851 and redesigned in 1973. The literacy rate in this nation is at a perfect 100. Most people are multilingual or even trilingual. However, the majority speak West Greenlandic. Around 50,000 individuals are native or near-native speakers, making it the most widely spoken among the Eskalut languages. To be honest, few people outside of Greenland know very little about the country. Greenland is unlike any other travel destination due to its extraordinary vistas, unusual fauna, iceberg-filled fjords and vibrant tundra. All this makes it crucial that you learn everything you can about this Arctic island nation. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.